Hello guys, welcome to the first West Coast video. I am so excited to finally be here with a Perth vlog. I feel like we have been waiting to come to the West Coast for the longest time and I have honestly heard nothing but good things. So I am so excited to spend this vlog and obviously the next few days exploring Perth, which is Western Australia's like capital, Western Australia's biggest city. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys around as well. I'm so excited, so I'm not gonna waffle on, but I do just wanna say a massive, massive thank you to Hostel G who have really, really kindly gifted us our stay here. I I will show you around the hostel but whilst I'm chatting now I'll do an overlay of what the room looked like when we first arrived because obviously right now it's a little bit more messy than this but this is the room that Tom and I are staying in this is actually a private room so it's like a family room or would be good for like four friends and you can see just how massive it is how modern it is because it is honestly probably one of the nicest hostels I've ever stayed in. It has so many amenities. The rooms are really clean. The whole thing just feels really modern. And on top of that, it's in a really great location. So yeah, huge, huge shout out to them. Really, really grateful. I'm gonna link them the top line in the description below. You can book through Hostel World. Super easy, straightforward. And if you are heading to Perth and you don't really know where to start because we found that there are a lot of like hostel chains on the east, but there aren't really any of those same chains on the west, so yeah, this was the first one that I found. I just absolutely loved the look of it. So I feel very, very lucky to be staying here. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the Exploring Perth vlog. I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna show you the hostel on the way. This is my outfit today. My skirt is like super long. This is from Hollister. The top is from Cotton On and so are the sunglasses. Just thought the whole thing kind of went together fairly nicely. Um, this is what I mean, guys. The hostel, <laughs> the room is a bit of a mess now, but yeah, it's okay. Guys, look at how cute this is. This might be the nicest thing I've ever arrived to in a hostel. They've given us a literal basket of snacks. We've got Tim Tams, we've got Vegemite Shapes. We've even got, guys, a bottle of Pinot Noir. Are you joking? These are insane. We also have breakfast for tomorrow. Some croissants, some Pringles. These, which are very popular here, by the way. I see so many people drinking these. These are the breakfast drinks. Cheese and crackers, which maybe are just my favorite snack. And a bar of lint. Thank you so much to the team at Hostel G. This is genuinely so lovely. It's addressed to Molly and Mark. So uh, I can't have any of this. <laughs> it's not for Tom. Mark, you lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> this really cracked me up, guys. It's not deep at all, but it is really funny. But it does mean, guys, that actually all of this is for me. So me and Mark, my other boyfriend. Who is this Mark guy then? <laughs> So then this is the downstairs of the hostel and it is so modern and so nice guys. They have everything that you need. There's so many spaces to hang out, so many spaces to work. They've got like a football table, a pool table. There's a little cafe that sells breakfast on the weekends. Like honestly, this has so many amenities and it is so, so great as hostels go. This is definitely one of the best that I have probably stayed in the whole trip. We are at Perth train station, it's behind me here. Um, and we are heading to Fremantle, which is a suburb of Perth, about 40 minutes away on the train, just maybe a bit more. But yeah, it's apparently like one of the nicest Perth suburbs. It's quite a big suburb and it's quite beachy as well. So we're heading there and we're gonna start with the market. This is Fremantle, guys. It kind of reminds me of somewhere in Europe, the way there's so much like alfresco dining, like outdoor eateries and cafes, which I think is just super, super cute. We're heading down here in this general direction towards the markets, which I think are basically like up at the end of this street. Here we are, guys. These are the famous Fremantle markets. Now, I've actually been chatting to some of the guys that work here that own, well, I don't think they literally own this, but that run the social media accounts for the markets. So they have kindly invited us down this morning to shoot some stories for them and this is honestly one of the most exciting things I've done in the longest time work-wise because this is like the exact kind of place that Tom and I would have come anyway. We love a market. We are always at things like this and um, it's not sponsored on YouTube or anything like that but I do just want to show you show you what it's like because I definitely think it's worth checking out. It's really really cool. Super old building as well. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind though it doesn't really matter. Are you kidding? Look at how good breakfast looks. We've come to this crepe place in the markets and oh my gosh we've got Nutella and strawberry crepes and I just think that might be the best crepe I've ever got. What have you just got Tom? So I've bought a, thick, a chocolate thick shake. Chocolate from... thick shake. It's called Muffle. It's called Muffle. It's from Muffle. Let me do a taste test. It's pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. That's really nice. Good. But it's not too thick. It's not super ice creamy. Sometimes, you know when you get a milkshake, guys, and it literally won't come through the straw. I'm like, that's a challenge to drink. Oh, that's really good. 
I could quite literally have bought half of this shop. It's all like homemade, handmade, crochet, like proper travel vibes, but the clothes are so cute. It's called Naked Gypsy, and it's in the Fremantle markets, and I am a little bit obsessed with everything. It sounded very whole then. Crochet. Did I? Oh. Amazing. We have just got coffees from a little coffee place called The Coffee Connection, which is one of the stalls here. What I was saying was we just got these flavoured coffees from this like coffee roastery where the actual beans were flavoured. So there's no flavouring in the coffee, there's no syrup, there's no sugar, nothing like that. The actual beans just have different flavours, which is insane. So I went for creme brulee. I got amaretto because I just love amaretto. So. It's good. Honestly, how lovely was the lady working there? She was so nice. So nice. She was yeah. telling us how she was from Poland, but she's going back to Europe next week and she was like super excited. And we were like, oh, we're from Europe. Anyway, yeah, so that was a lovely, lovely experience. We're going to walk back down the high street, do a little bit of work for a while now. And then I think this afternoon we are maybe going to head to the beach, which I'm very excited about because it is such a lovely warm day. Maybe too warm for a hot coffee, to be honest. We've accidentally found a gorgeous little beach bar in a place called Basin Beach, I think was it called Basin Beach? Oh, I can't remember, I'm gonna pop a little map on the screen, I think it was. Oh, Bathers. Bathers Beach, that makes more yeah. sense. We also met a really lovely lady who was actually from here, who was giving us that recommendation. Yeah, we just stumbled across this, so we ordered some drinks so that we can sit on the sun lounges. And yeah, it's just a beautiful afternoon. This is where we have just been sat for the last two hours, guys, on these sunbeds down here. With this amazing view of the ocean, and now the sun is going down, so we're gonna head back into Perth. Right, it has been a little while, we've just got back. Well, actually, we got back about an hour ago. I've just called my mum, and I have got changed just into this, like, t-shirt and white jeans even though we're going for dinner and maybe maybe a drink somewhere i'm not really sure the plan i sort of was dressed nicer earlier right but the temperatures dropped because even though it's really warm through the day in an evening it's like sort of chilly here and i didn't bring my jackets with me from melbourne so i only have hoodies and the hoodie is not the vibe <laughs> so i was like right well we're gonna have to wear a t-shirt so that's kind of why i looked nicer earlier but it's fine so we're gonna go for dinner tom has googled a few places but i think we're just gonna walk through the area where we're staying so we're not too far from north North Bridge, which is like not really a suburb of Perth, it is in the city itself, but it's just like a little borough. And apparently, there's loads of nice eateries around here. We've walked past a couple of pubs as well, and there's not pubs are not really a thing in Australia, or at least not how we do them back in the UK. But we've walked past a few here that look kind of like a pub, so I don't think we'll be going there for food, but we may well go in a pub for a drink. It's Friday night after all, you know, like kind of want to see what's happening, what's going on, if the city is busy, if the city is lively, because so far Perth has seemed pretty quiet. Like, I've not seen that many people here, so. I'll be interested to see what it's like on a Friday night. We have come to a little street food place and I have got cauliflower enchiladas, which they actually didn't have on the menu and they have made for me very kindly. Tom had a giros, or a, I literally can't pronounce this Greek food at all. Sorry. How do you, I know it's so loud in here. How do you say that? I think Maria said it was. Giros? Giros? Yeah. I think it was like heat. And then Tom's boss said it's all work was Greek. She was mortified when I was like, G Ross! Um, but yeah, Tom has this. I have that. It's very loud. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. You're not in it, don't worry. Tom doesn't have a top on. No, that wasn't what I was laughing at. Oh, that's... I was laughing at the conversation. Uh, like three seconds before starting. No, we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, I have just got ready for the day. We've had a little bit of a lazier morning because we've been editing, getting the vlogs ready for later today, stuff like that. But we are heading out to actually finally explore Perth City. Here is Tom behind me. Hello. Because we've been here for like three days guys and we've been to Rottnest and Fremantle but not Perth itself. So we are going to take a walk around the city, we're going to go to the big parks. Apparently there's this place called Elizabeth Quay which is like a waterfront kind of area. So we're just going to see what the city looks like in the daylight because we actually haven't really seen it in the daylight yet, only in the dark. So I'm very very excited and going to bring you along. I slept so well last night. This hostel is really really comfy, the beds are really good guys which actually makes such a difference. Like I had eight hours of uninterrupted sleep, I didn't wake up which is really rare for me even like even in a regular bed even in my bed at home i wake up a lot Same, in the night actually i slept right through last night it must be the bed i actually bed. think it's because we have two single beds <laughs> 
<laughs> so we both got our own section. Nobody invades. It is amazing, guys. We can do what we want to the covers because Molly has weird things where it has to be tucked in all the way around yeah. and tucked in at her feet. Yeah, but it is a double bed, guys. Yeah. But it has single duvets on it. So we just have our own duvets on this double bed and it actually does sort of work better because Tom likes to basically not have the duvet on and I like to have the duvet cocooning me. Oh, that sounds like we don't like each other. We do up until we're getting to sleep. Oh, yeah. And then we hate each other. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, we're going to head out and explore Perth, but I'm feeling very well rested. This is my outfit of the day. I don't remember this crop top being this crop, guys. I'm pretty sure I might have shrunk this in the wash. Um, I got this new hat in Adelaide last week from the market from a little store called The Milk Collective. And everything there was like really cool, bright colours, like pastel colours and like custom made. So I just thought this was cute. I wear a lot of blue, so I thought a blue hat would be like nice vibes. This is Hay Street in Perth, which I think is one of the main high streets, one of the main shopping streets. There's a couple of little eateries, some shops. I can't lie, actually, guys. It does sort of remind me of Adelaide. Like, it looks quite a lot like Adelaide. Um, I was saying as well, like, the layout of the shops, like, the order of them is very, very similar. similar like, yeah. I distinctly remember a Nike and then an escape room and then something else appeared. It was just exactly the same. It's very, very similar. I think also it's quite different to Sydney and Melbourne because the main shopping streets in Sydney and Melbourne have trams running down them, whereas this is completely pedestrianised. And actually, being on foot, is a lot nicer than when you're walking around Melbourne and uh, Sydney because it's just a lot less chaotic, a lot quieter as well. Even considering it's a Saturday as well, don't That's you think true. it's pretty quiet? Yeah, it's at a good level. Yeah. It annoys me when you get slow walkers, you get your Saturday walkers that can't it's walk so fast and <laughs> run over. This is Kings Park, guys. So this map's pretty helpful in showing you everything that's on here. We are currently right at the front. I'm gonna walk around to the cafe, maybe get a drink because I do really need one. We just walked from the city, which is like up this way, and it is all uphill. This is quite a hilly city, actually, guys. But then we're just gonna make our way slowly through here. Apparently this DNA tower like structure, you can climb up and the view is meant to be really good. So I think we're gonna head down there. Okay, guys, we are in Kings Park now. It is just behind me. I didn't realize how big it actually was. I've actually just taken off the drone and like done an aerial view so that we could kind of see like where we are, what the city looks like. And I've also seen some drone footage before of Perth. And I thought, yeah, that looks cool. I wanna fly my drone here because there's a lot of cities where you can't really fly your drone if they're like too close to the airport or whatever or if they're just too busy but this is a pretty quiet city and also Kings Park is the botanical gardens but they are just slightly out of the centre so I'm going to insert that footage here and you can kind of see what Perth looks like from above I feel like it gives you a bit of a look of what the city is like it's all on a waterway which actually is one of my favourite things I think about this city and about most cities I guess all cities really are on waterways this, this one is really big and it looks really nice the water is so blue so I'm going to insert that drone footage here Real mean to get it going Open me up Sweet talking like you mean it But you're making it so complicated And hate it Every time I get too close You push me away Don't want to stick Telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them Don't call me just cause you're lonely There are so many people sat having picnics on this stretch of grass, which by the way is probably the nicest kept bit of grass I've ever seen. But all of these people have brought like tables and chairs and like there's a lady over there, she has a vase of flowers on her table to have a picnic. Like, have you ever seen anything like it? What are you doing, assessing if the grass is real? It's insane, isn't it? I'd love a kickabout on here. I don't think it's for a kickabout. This is such a lovely little walkway there, guys. This path runs with the park on this side of us and then the city and the water on this side of us. This is Elizabeth Key, and I feel as though when you Google Perth, these kind of like structures and sculptures come up. So you've got this one here and then you have the famous bridge, which to me kind of looks like the bridges in um, Tyneside, like up in Newcastle in England. But I guess that is just what those sort of bridges look like. Couple of places that you can have drinks. And then behind me, there is a merry-go-round and a Thomas. Quite a lot of nice high rise buildings. What I love about a lot of Aussie cities though is that there's always palm trees like scattered around. They rest your legs. We've done a lot of steps, haven't we? Yeah, me too. We just stopped and had a little drink in here. It's this like outdoor restaurant on Elizabeth Quay. And it's really cute guys. I really recommend this actually. Really good for like drinks and nibbles in the afternoon, but also they have a really nice menu as well. I like sitting there, it was good, wasn't it? It's nice, it's yeah, good vibes, live, live band. Live band, yeah. We are gonna head back now for a little bit, get some stuff sorted, get some stuff organized before we head out for dinner.
It is a little bit later. We came back at about three. It is now about six. And I have just been editing the vlog mainly for like an hour and then the last hour we've actually been booking all of our like campsite accommodation so if you don't know which you probably do by the time this vlog goes up we are basically hiring a camper van for the next month and touring the west coast which i'm very excited about quite nervous i'm a bit apprehensive i'm not really a camping kind of girl but i know that a van is not the same as like a tent and there's a big difference especially in my head but i'm mainly excited to be honest i'm just excited to try a new style of travel but we just wanted to like book the first week's worth of like campsites caravan sites like places that you can basically moor up your camper van to a powered electric site because you can't just keep driving it i don't know the logistics that much about like how engines work and stuff um, but i do know that like every three nights they recommend that you're at a powered site so just because we didn't want everything to be booked up and us to just become a bit unstuck we thought right we'll book that even still we have left it a bit last minute it's saturday we leave on monday so two days before nice and organized but everything was all good all sorted we've booked the first like seven days so that we know roughly where we're gonna be but yeah that's what we've been doing for the last few hours there's a lot of admin when it comes to backpacking as well so i, I try and get this across in my vlogs but like never underestimate how much time you actually have to spend sorting out on would travel especially if you're on the move a lot so it's been a bit of an admin afternoon but we're gonna head out for dinner now to a restaurant that one of you guys recommended a really lovely girl actually also called molly sent me the longest list of recommendations for the west coast ever and it's actually so helpful like she knows her stuff so i really really appreciate it when you guys send me recommendations but we're gonna head out for dinner now oh it took a long time but i'm a happy bean very happy bean i just love pasta it is Sunday, it's very sunny. Oh, this shelf might be the perfect height. Well, the shadows aren't really the one, but it's a good place to just intro it. Wearing a hat again, guys, because I'm hiding greasy hair. I'm gonna do a big hair wash tonight, like a proper double wash kind of hair wash because it has to last a while. Today is Sunday, we are gonna continue exploring the city and I think we're actually gonna head to, it's called Perth Mint or the Perth Mint. And it's basically like a museum and an interactive kind of location where you can learn about Perth's gold rush. So Australia and like the major cities in Australia became really populated and you know a desirable place to live because all throughout like the last century and the century before, this knowledge is off the top of my head, like I've not been to the museum yet so I'm not sure how right I am. Yeah, over the last century and the years like before that, basically as Australia was being founded as it is today, they kept discovering gold everywhere. So there was constant gold rushes, people kept moving to these cities and the west coast is obviously very famous for mining not only gold but also opals and other sciencey things so anyway we're gonna head to that museum like i said it's called the perth mint and apparently it just kind of like tells you how perth became the city it is today which i think is quite interesting i don't know too much about that whole time period or really the west coast i feel like my knowledge of australia is definitely more like east coast based yeah i'm excited i'm intrigued we've spent this morning doing laundry so we have washed all of our clothes they're currently in the dryer so we need to wait for that to finish and then we're gonna go just realized that my nails match my hat that's a happy accident so this is the Perth Mint, guys. This is the museum. Uh, it's just off of the main high street on Hay Street. So this is where we are going, as you can see. Uh, pretty sure this means it's an advert for gold. I don't really know what to expect from this, guys. There is a tour, supposedly, today. Although Google says it's closed, but it doesn't look closed. So we're gonna go in. I keep chasing in this game, I'm playing the I don't wanna be a 4 a.m. I'm suffocating just by waiting on you. Don't call me just cause you're lonely You know you're killing me slowly no. Maybe I'm yours, maybe I'm not I think about it way too much and every single thought is making me we have just come out of the Perth Mint. I actually really recommend doing that, guys. Our guide was called Oliver. He was a little bit crazy, crazy, but in let, the best way. Let us know if you ever do this, let us know if you get Oliver. Honestly, I was like, I was not expecting it to be like that, but it was really interesting as well. Seeing the gold pot was so cool because I've never seen like, I don't think I've ever seen gold before other than in like jewelry and stuff. I thought, um, I thought they might let us hold that six kilo one. Nah. I don't understand why they don't, but it'd be cool if you could. Security on that place is yeah. intense, guys. But no, it's definitely worth doing it costs 22 dollars to get in and it's an hour-long tour you get to learn a little bit of the history of like how they ended up finding the gold here in the first place and then you get to like go around the little museum and then at the end you sit down and see like the demonstration and it's actually really good but we're gonna walk back through the town center maybe get some food now 
yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. It has been a little while. I don't have very much to report back on today because we are sort of using this last afternoon in a hostel to get everything organized. We are like basically gonna be on the road for the next three weeks. So we, we are gonna like obviously make sure that we have Wi-Fi signal at various points, but we would rather just get ahead if we can. So we've been working. We've also been like downloading everything that we want for when we're on the road. So like things we're gonna watch when we're at the campsites. I wanna download some books to my Kindle actually. I need to do that tonight. Um, I've just been trying to get a bit ahead with like reels and like vlogs because I do actually think we're gonna have a lot of spare time, especially when say if Tom's driving, I'm gonna have a lot of spare time. And if I'm driving, Tom's gonna have a lot of spare time in the passenger seat. But basically we're just trying to get ahead, trying to get organized, having a bit of an admin day, but we are about to head for dinner. And we're gonna go to Fremantle, which is the beach that we were at the other day, just because I feel like we've really explored Perth city center. And I really love the beach and I loved Fremantle as a suburb. So we're gonna go for dinner there. It's about 25 minutes on the train. Put a hoodie on because it's a bit chilly and obviously like it's the coast, so. So we have got the train to Fremantle. Can't lie, it wasn't a pleasant experience. The guy on the train that was sat like right next to us. He was eating a subway. <laughs> we were like snorting and coughing as he was eating it. Honestly, I was not joking, it's a 30 minute train just under. Just and like he just sat up. <laughs> Get my words out. Yeah. Just smell his <laughs> and what I tried to say is, <laughs> it's not even funny. But for 30 minutes, he was just burping. It was so disgusting. I was literally just looking at Tom blinking like rapidly, like, what the hell? And it's oh, it was horrible. Anyway, we're here now. I need to need food now. I've had it somewhere. <laughs> Pizzas have arrived guys, we are at this little cute Italian place, we're sitting outside. It's on a street of like quite a few restaurants and they're all Italian so I'm not sure if there's like some Italian history in Fremantle. I actually haven't done the research but I'm not gonna uh, take Tom's pizza away from him for much longer because we are both so hungry so we're gonna eat now. This looks pretty good. Everything is packed up, ready to go. This is our goodbye to Hostel G. It has been a pretty good stay. We have actually loved staying here. Honestly, this has probably been my favorite hostel experience of Australia so far. It's been so nice, just really calm, really relaxing. The beds are so comfy. It's just been all round nice. The amenities and the shared areas are so good. Oh, and that is Thomas. I realized that I never filmed an end clip. I went to answer that door from the last clip and then just put the camera down. So this is the end of the Perth vlog. I'm not gonna chat too much more because there are so many cool vlogs coming. I have been on the West Coast for about a week now when this video goes up, just less. And I am already so excited for the West Coast road trip content. You guys are gonna love it. Also, if you are interested, keep an eye on my Instagram stories over the next 24, 48 hours across the weekend. I'm not too sure, depending on the time zone. Something very, very exciting is coming if you're interested in travel if you're watching these vlogs because you also are backpacking or want to go backpacking or have been backpacking or you know you're planning a trip keep an eye on my instagram story over this weekend it's going to be so exciting tom and i've been working so hard on this yeah i'm just really proud of what's coming so definitely definitely keep your eyes peeled it's going to be here so soon but yeah other than that i'm going to end this vlog here thank you so much for watching thank you again to hostel g for having us stay in their hostel we really really thoroughly enjoyed that time in perth i think it is quite an underrated city i know a lot of people come to australia and don't visit it and i definitely think that it's the perfect starting point for this west coast trip so subscribe if you are new give the video a thumbs up leave a comment all of that good stuff and i shall see you in my next video bye guys